We're less than a month away from the 12th anniversary of the 9-11 terror attacks. That day is usually marked with solemn ceremonies, remembering thousands of innocent Americans who lost their lives. But this year, a group called the American Muslim Political Action Committee has decided to hold a march in our nation's capital. With me, the founder of American Muslim Political Action Committee, MD Rabbi Alam, and organizer of the 9-11 Muslim March, Issa Hodge, terror analyst and Fox News contributor, Lisa Daftari. All right, good evening, everyone. I will go to you, Mr. Alam. I just want to clear this up. Your name is Rabbi, but you're not a rabbi, right? That is correct. Okay. That is correct. All right. Now, Mr. Alam, why the need to march on Washington on 9-11? Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, dear judge. Uh, this is my, you know, point that uh, the march, it's been miscoded. And we are looking at, after 12 years, we Muslim community, we want to stand with the solidarity with rest of the American, and we want to denounce terrorism, the violence, and we want to honor those 3,000 deaths and, you know, getting the condolence to the, all the victims' family. Right now, we are looking at Mr. Mr. a Long, point. Uh, let, me, let me just interrupt you for a second. This is so different from what your uh, uh, website says that I have right here. It is so different from what you said on this channel let two nights ago. Uh, your your uh, website says we're demanding that laws be enacted to protect our First Amendment, that the entire country, uh, Muslims and, and non-Muslims, were traumatized. But after 12 years, we are still being victimized and being made the villains. It's as though you're... Can I interject here and no, explain? No, you can't. Let him finish. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no okay. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, we are not here to fight and not raising. We want to talk in a civilian way. Right here. So answer you know, the question. Answer the, the question. Why is your message I am tonight? Going to, I am going to answer the question. No, it's not. What we are saying is, you know what Fox do. They take apple, make orange. They take one inch, oh, oh, make no, apple. No, 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 no. You no, answer no, the no, question. No, 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 no. I have got right gonna, here your yes, website where you claim exactly. that you we are claim. victims and uh, the United States government sits exactly. idly by uh, doing exactly. nothing to protect us, meaning... Exactly. You How know, are they what? not protecting I said this you? Country. They're not, they're, no, no, no. They're, I said this country, Muslim being called terrorist. Muslim being called terrorist. I said this country been victimized. Nothing to do with Muslim with the terrorism. This country, we have 7 million peace-loving Muslim. All right, let you me ask you a me. question. If there are peace-loving Muslims, why are we waiting until the anniversary of 9-11 to march to protect the Muslims? Would why expect, weren't they out you there with major... Let me finish. That let me you finish. Today that no, that is the very first day that Muslim been villainized and victimized. Do you understand okay, that you know we is? have nothing to do with those 19 people? Okay. Do we Go have ahead. to do anything to do? It, Mr. Hodge, what do you okay. want to say? Thank you very much. I, I truly apologize for interrupting, but uh, this has been since the conception of the idea of the march on 9-11 uh, on in Washington, D.C. It has been a progression that, yes, originally it did start out and still is a part of the fact that there is an agenda to make the word terrorist synonymous with only Muslim. Are you kidding? And Mr. Muslim, Hodge, well, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to stop you right there. <laughs> no, I'll tell you why. Because it's exactly I'll tell you what why. it no, is. No, 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 no. You have, I'm, I'm you asking the question here. Andrews Breverick, no, 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 we're not who is do also this. committed to terrorist mind. activity. No, no. Let, let me ask you this question. Yes, ma'am. All right. The president has basically taken certain words out of our lexicon, whether it be <laughs> jihadist, Terrorism, uh -huh. it's now workplace violence. I mean, we are doing everything we can to be politically correct. We're changing well, let's history. Talk about we're changing the, history. Let's talk in about order. the president. No, we're changing let's talk history. About the, president. In order. the fact is, the he has killed more Muslims killed in his Muslim. five right. years. All right. He has killed more no. Muslims in his five years than Bush did in his entire eight. 
right. All right. Mr. Hodge, I let am me... by no stretch of the imagination a fan of Obama. I am this by no a, stretch of the imagination. This is about well, your you website. It. You made it about Obama. But let, let me explain something to you. What I'm saying Obama is in society today. All of these wait a minute. Words. I'm not going to do this. Cut his mic. What? Go ahead. You know, we were rewriting history in order to compensate and not offend any Muslims in this country. The irony of the situation is that would you guys be able to do any of these uh, free, you have uh, freedom to, uh, to assemble, you have freedom of speech. You can organize as many marches as you want. You can do it on September 11th, 12th and 13th only in this country. In what Muslim country would you ever be able to do that? And you want to talk about President Obama? President Obama refused to call the Benghazi attack terrorist when it should have been called terrorist. He refused to, to call uh, the Fort Hood shooting what it was. He made it workplace violence, bending okay. over backwards in order right. to keep comfortable here. And you know what? You might be villainized, but you no. know who you're villainized no, no, no. by? Wait, right, Your right. own people. No, you don't have to march we, on the White House. Talk? Go to uh, Al-Qaeda headquarters. Minute, that's enough. No. Okay. No. Mr. 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 Uh, Alam. I'm going to go back to yes, you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, ma'am. You ma don't yes, ma deny the fact that as of yesterday, your website made it clear that you wanted to fight injustices being committed against you. Have you... Exactly. Have you called, and that's fine. I just want to be clear on this. But have okay. you and the Muslim community come out to talk about some of the wrongs that the fanatics in the Muslim community oh. are committing? If we could okay, speak, do you understand we would. that do you do if you understand speak, that would. Muslim community we cannot speak we cannot come out and we cannot come out as this fact that our name being villainized in a synonymous with terrorism you uh, are not understanding okay. that a person like me I have faced the same thing past 12 years I've been facing every day out there in all right, let me ask you, you a question. You are not in my shoes. Are you aware of the fact, and I've got a hard out here, that we have hate crimes laws, even as DAI prosecuted people who were victimizing anyone else, whether it's a Muslim or a Buddhist or anybody else. So uh, the laws protect you, and yet you feel the need to march on Washington on this solemn day. Anyway, stay with us, everyone. More on the proposed 9-11 march. And that's the topic of tonight's Instapol. The 9-11 American Muslim March. Is it a good idea? Facebook or tweet me at Judge Janine. Let me know what you think. We're back with the organizers of the Million Muslim March scheduled to take place on 9-11 and Fox News contributor Lisa Daftari. Joining us is Jim Rich's former NY uh, 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 Fire Chief, New York City Fire Chief, and the father of firefighter Jimmy Rich's, who died on 9-11. Chief, we're sorry for your loss, but I want to ask you a question. Uh, you just heard Mr. Alam and Mr. Hodge. They believe that Muslims have been victimized and made into villains since 9-11. Your thoughts? I think it's a disgrace what they're doing, deliberately scheduling it on 9-11. Um, I lost my son on 9-11. He's never going to come back in my house. They can go back and forth in their house. They can, there was no mosques closed. They got to go free. They got educated. Nobody's bothering them. We, we, we miss my son every day. They were murdered by 19 Islamic terrorists, and they don't know what that pain is like. We live that every day. And for them to schedule a march on 9-11, what are they going to do next? Have a, a parade up and uh, before the Boston Marathon? That's a disgrace. I was down there at 9-11. I picked up the body parts. There were 25,000 body parts. Oh. People were crushed to death, my son's body mm -hmm. included. I took it out of there on March 25th, 2002. There's a 1,000 families that have never recovered anything. They don't have a cemetery to go through. That's pain. That's persecution. We're the victims, not them. And they are allowed to live here in America and do everything that they can do. All right. And uh, Mr. No, uh, Alam, what do you I, say to well, that? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> can, can I interject? Go, like, go. If you wanna, in a, in a civilian order, if we want to talk, please just listen. We are trying to bring and say that maybe those 19 not job did something. We want to show respect to those family. But at the same time, we want to say the people that we are not the problem. There is a fear against us. We are not the problem for the American society. But then why do you want to do it? Why do you want to do it on 9/11? No, we are, are showing respect. We are showing respect. Born and raised in no, this country. We are respecting. We are. Am respecting. I still muted? We are respecting. Okay. No, Lisa, you are on. You know, I, 
you then, might listen, feel. I mean, I, I mean, I really, no, no, you feel villainized. Feel you feel villainized. And I know there are no, many peace loving Muslims out there, and I respect all the peace loving Muslims. No. But your, of course, your anger is misdirected. You know, it, no, no, there's this, no reason for you no, to be going to the White House. You can go to Al Qaeda headquarters and you should protest there because they're the ones who villainized your religion. All right. Let me just say that the blood of Americans, the blood of Americans has been spilled for Muslims in Bosnia, Kosovo, Kuwait, Afghanistan, and Iraq. Mr. Alam, Mr. Hodge, Lisa, Chief Riches, thanks so much for being with us this evening. And be sure to vote in tonight's...